Hi everyone, so this tutorial about Wati is teaching you how you can make, make use of uh, WhatsApp API to send out a message to your contact without them having a conversation with you before. So uh, if you're a current Wati user, log into your own Wati environment, your own platform. So what you will be able to do, first of all, you need to uh, add your contact. So make sure they are in your contact book. You can either upload it on Excel if you have existing system that store, let's say, all your client's number. Alternatively, you can simply add contact here. So uh, yeah, it's like, uh, I already fill in the information, Wati test phone, and then input a correct WhatsApp number here. So make sure you put the country code as well. Save it. Name and all already required. Is it ready here? OK. Great, so uh, I saved the number already. So Wadi Test Phone 1 is already in the platform right now in my uh, contact system. So what we will need to do next is send out a broadcast to your contact. Of course, uh, if you would like to create a template message, a specific message to send them out, you can create it right here. But uh, this time I'm not going to create a brand new one. I'm going to send out the current template message that I already have. Uh, I will have another video to talk more about uh, about template message. So um, I'm going to put uh, my broadcast name, select the message that I would like to send out to this number. Let's say a revenue reminder. And you can choose the time and date to send out to your number. So let's say uh, 32. Next, you can select this number here. Or based on the filter, you can select the specific group of client to send out. And the third way will be uh, uploading an uh, Excel sheet to send them out. So add broadcast. So in the flow here, just now I show you, if you have a contact number from your client, how you can send it out, adding it in the contact, and then go to broadcast, simply select the template that you would like to send out to them, and then add a new broadcast, then you will be able to send the message uh, like without your client having to um, opt in or uh, approve you to send a message. So this is the good thing about using WhatsApp API to reach out to your client and send them template message via broadcast. So uh, it is now in process to send out. And once it's sent out, I will receive on my demo phone here and I'll uh, show you directly here to make sure that this process works without any problem. Just giving it a second for the message to uh, arrive. So what you'll be able to see here is uh, the status of the broadcast. And you have the option to send an SMS as well uh, if you uh, contact us to enable this function. Let's wait a bit. Uh, it is in process. Okay. So you see here it's already complete. And I do receive the message here. You see the new message when I click in. Uh, you'll be able to see this uh, webinar reminder. So basically, you see the message right here. And good thing is that if you send out uh, the message via WhatsApp API, you have this rich media template with the button here. So what is the button message here? Let me quickly show you. If you click, uh, like, let's say this webinar, click yes, you have an auto reply. So. Uh, this is what I would like to show you today in this tutorial. Uh, thank you and let me know if you have any questions.